I don't know what it is that we down here in Tampa have done to piss off whichever god it is who decides where hurricanes go. But apparently, uh, he is angry, she is angry, it is angry, whatever pronoun you want to use for the hurricane god is angry at us. Because every single time they target us, this the spaghetti maps run right through fucking Tampa. Every single time. Ah. Now that's the good news, believe it or not. The good news is that right now they are anticipating at 2 a.m. on Thursday that something like a Category 3 will pass right through Tampa, just to the north of us, which of course will be on the bad side of the hurricane. Uh, and that will shove a bunch of uh, water up through the bay and into our little houses. Uh, that's the good news. Why do you say that's the good news? Because these things always move. And the one place you can really expect is not going to get hit three days, four days out is the place that they are predicting gets hit three or four days out. <laughs> that's why it's good news. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? Today is Monday. It is the 26th, I do believe, of September 2022. Uh, I am Scott. That is Bo. There's no co-pilot, I don't think. There is a co-pilot. It's Cricket. Come here. She's like, you know I, I, I piss in your mouth when you're asleep, bro. Um, so, <laughs> I've got to get a couple of things today. i got to go to the store and get ready before the mad, ra the mad rush People go in and buy everything up. Batteries, water. Uh, I guess something to feed these animals with. Might as well. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I, this is one prediction. There's another one that already has it. Uh, moving a bit to the uh, west and making landfall up right in the middle of the pan in the in the, in the panhandle area here um I, I don't know if it continues to track westward maybe it's going to end up they've 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 the one that hit uh was it katrina that hit new orleans was at one time they had a, i'm sure they had a uh a tracker that said it was going to hit tampa uh, and that was pretty much, uh, and it missed by quite a bit. So it could miss us by a lot. Uh, but we are currently under a hurricane watch. Uh, and it is strengthened to category one hurricane. Set to rapidly intensify before hitting Florida. That was updated at 9 o'clock this morning. It is now 9.35. So... It's already moved a bit, uh, tracking west, and it might track further west. And then again, who knows? It's all a crapshoot. Uh, that's where I got this from, and that was also this morning, so who the hell knows? Uh, something will come up here. We'll have some weather, and it might be bad. I've, I've uh, was, lived through a hurricane down here. Uh, Mom and I did a while ago. I forget which one it was. Um, we were out of, without power for five days. Uh, and that was tough on her. That was. Um, but she she was a trooper and she put up with it. Uh, I didn't just bring do this video to tell you about this. Uh, I'm going to be uh, heading off to go get some stuff at the store just in case, I guess. Uh... So I've got to do that today, this morning, now. Uh, I did want to mention this person. <laughs> you fucking Italians, man. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, The Italians have elected 
uh, new prime minister. Uh, this is her name. Georgia Maloney. Uh, and Georgia Maloney uh, doesn't like gay people, Muslims. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of things she doesn't like. Uh, she used to be in a thing called uh, the Youth Front when she was a child, 15 years old, which is part of a neo-fascist Italian socialist movement, the MSI. <laughs> she was involved in that. The founder of the MSI is this guy, Giorgio. Giorgio... Alimrante, and he was, I know I pronounced that wrong, I don't care, live with it. Uh, Giorgio was an Italian politician and the founder and leader of the neo-fascist Italian socialist movement until his retirement in 1987. So when she was 15, uh, she attended his Youth Front was part of his Youth Front. Oh, and yeah, by the way, he was a Nazi collaborator. <laughs> Yay! Okie dokie. Um, that's awesome. She is uh, far right. She doesn't like abortions or gay marriage or gay people in general. Um, awesome. She has also promised to continue sending weapons to Ukraine, even though, even though, uh, she has this to say, uh, at a speech, I don't know when this speech was, um, I'm going to have to read for those of you who are listening to this and can't, or they're all watching on a, on, a, on a phone and it's too small to read the fucking captions. So I'm going to read what she's saying <laughs> as she's saying it. I'll interpret for you as it, as it, as it was. Please answer me this. This is about what we are doing here today. Why is the family the enemy? Why is the family so frightened? There's a single answer to all of these questions. Because it defines us, because it is our identity. Because everything that defines us because it is our identity. everything that defines us is now an enemy. For those who would like us no longer to have an identity. And it's simple to be perfect. 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 Simply to be perfect allora consumer slaves. So they attack national identity, they attack religious identity, they attack gender identity, they attack family identity. I can't define myself as an Italian Christian woman mother. No. Donna, madre, no. Io devo essere cittadino X, genere X, X, genitore 1, genitore 2, devo essere un numero. Perché quando sarò solamente un numero, quando non avrò più un'identità, quando non avrò più radici, beh allora sarò lo schiavo perfetto in balia della grande speculazione finanziaria. Il consumatore perfetto in balia della grande speculazione finanziaria. Il consumatore perfetto in balia della grande speculazione finanziaria. Now, she says all the right things. She acts as if she's opposed to what they're doing over at the World Economic Forum. However... She is a far-right fucking fascist. Who knows how she'll turn out? Who knows how she'll govern? Cyprus said the right things when he was running and won in Greece. And then the very first thing he did was the exact opposite of everything that he promised. You could say the same thing about Obama. Um, same thing about pretty much all of them now. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, I shouldn't drink diet soda. Uh, it's rotting my brain. Anyway, um, I don't know how she'll be. We'll see how she does. She says the right things. Um, she didn't get a whole, she, she expected, I think, you know, a rousing applause from that crowd, but you can see from the crowd, um, it's a bunch of fucking old blue blood guys 
Oh, what's wrong with being the perfect consumer? Look at these dudes. It's like a polite applause. They give her a polite applause. Hang on a second. Look at these people. <laughs> she gets all worked up and watch this. Consumatore perfect. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> Look at this guy. We gotta get rid of her. <laughs> she, she's not gonna help my stock portfolio. Uh, we'll have to see how that works out. You fucking wacky Italians, man. Always, always electing these fucking super fascists. Ah, uh, what's up? That's like fucking who's a, who's the guy she's replacing? Uh, Drago, Mario Drago, whatever his fucking name is, Drago. Uh, wasn't he like the head of the fucking? He's a banker, an economist, a neoliberal economist. Was the head of the European Central Bank for a while. Then he decided to be fucking prime minister of fucking Italy. <laughs> God damn. It's a big club and you ain't in it. It's a small club and you ain't in it. Um, We'll see how that works out. Uh, that's it for today. That's all I got. Uh, I'm just going to sit here and wait for... Uh, my doom buy myself a couple of packs of batteries and some candles and maybe a bag of dog food maybe if he's lucky um, and we'll see how that goes but like I said uh, usually you're pretty safe if they say you know three days out that you're gonna get hit by a hurricane uh, if I were these guys up here in you know <laughs> in this area I'd be really worried Oh, shit, it's going to hit us. Uh, we'll see how that works out. Anyway, I thank you guys for your time. Have a good Monday. If you live anywhere in this area, not on her shoulders, but if you live anywhere in this area, if I were you, I'd go out and buy some candles, too. <laughs> Talk to you later.